Okay, here we go. So you see all that? <laughs> now they're telling you you can't have any fun. You can't smoke a cigarette. You can't do this. You can't do that. Or they're going to put you in jail. You can't have anything. Or they put you in jail. Then... If they give you money, or they give you shit, everybody wants to say, you're committing fraud, so they can put you in jail. It's a trick bag that everybody's trying to force somebody to do what they want to do, because everybody in this country sits around and bitches about everything, but the real problems never get solved. Like, why in the fuck do pedophiles, murderers, thieves... And all this bullshit, even drug addicts have more motherfucking rights than fucking regular people. And you want to call everybody a drug addict because they fucking use drugs when the doctors don't want to do shit. They'll sit right there and watch your fucking family abuse you and deny you health care. Anything other than just basic, well, I don't want him spurting blood all over the place, so put a couple of stitches in him, but we'll just leave him fucked up. Maybe it'll kill him. As long as he ain't spurting blood and shit all over every place, you know, we don't care. That's what fucking America is all about. This shit getting stupid. I'm watching motherfucking real drug addicts cross me out. I can't have no weed when I'm in pain. If I go to a doctor and need health care, you motherfuckers are crossing me out on health care because fucking drug addicts want to fucking steal your, your fucking medication. And if I smoke pot, you want to make laws up to say the pot's illegal so I can't use it for the pain and the nausea of being in pain. But you didn't solve the problem to begin with. And then I got this fucking little bald-headed fucking Nazi motherfucking muffin idiot running around up at the church at the First Baptist and the other churches around here motherfucking playing games and shit. And now I'm sitting over here in a deal in a prayer group. Don't go to church with a whole bunch of people. Don't hang out with a whole bunch of people. Need to just motherfucking get paid and get the fuck out of this state so I can go someplace and I can buy me some pot for my pain, for what you let people do to me because you as police officers wanted to fucking sit there and talk shit about I don't think you can handle the trial. But you have kids, and you never stop to think that you made a judgment that I couldn't handle the trial when I'm telling you they're molesting me. You made the judgment to bring in serial killing bullshit rather than slowly trying to get that out there and then taking me and dumping me off in fraud fucking goddamn uh, uh uh, motherfucking orphanage land, foster home land. You just changed the name of the shit. It's still a goddamn orphanage. Still the same goddamn shit that you see in the little rascals in the old shows from the orphanages and shit. And then you wanted to run around and whine about how we need to do that. And then you say you fixed it. And you didn't. You made it worse. Just like you do everything else in the world. And everybody can do whatever they want, get away with it. But me, you know, I got to motherfucking be punished. I got to be suffering. I got to be the victim. I got to be the one that the church hollers for money at whenever they're a kid. And then whenever I need help, they want to do everything half-assed. And then motherfuckers in the church want to talk shit to me and act like they's all calm and all this. I was pretty damn calm. I'm just fucking tired of sitting around listening and watching little kids fucking run around like heathens. And if I do that, y'all are wanting to hit me with shit. Or throw me out. And the only reason why I would do it is because I'm trying to tell you something and you're not fucking listening. Nobody is. The police took me and hauled me off that shit. They was committing fraud. 
try to kill me. My mom tells me she'll stick up for me. Just tell him he didn't do anything so he can come back home. And she's going to try to get rid of him and all this other stuff. I'm going to protect you from him and all that. And then she just turned me right out to the motherfucker. And then taking me to the doctors and shit. And they don't do nothing whenever the motherfuckers is abusing me and they know it. Another one got fucking drug into it. But they're so lame that all it was about was signing off so the school didn't have to fucking pay. And I could go back to school. And what do they do? Instead of checking up to see whether I went to a motherfucking uh, uh, specialist like I was supposed to because they found out my back was broken in the eighth grade. My sister's running around in, uh, how you put it, scoliosis braces and stuff, and I got to go to work. And you're telling me I shouldn't play football and basketball and none of that stuff no more? That's how that works. Then I got my fat-ass sister coming on my shit talking crap. Or her kids coming around motherfucking robbing me or talking crap or acting like they're going to help me because I'm going to give them some old tools. But then they can get to go out and get paid for doing nothing and get brand new motherfucking tools. But I don't get shit. I got to steal. I got to tear my body up. I got to fucking... Lift engines and transmissions together, 351 Windsors with uh, C6 transmissions or C4 transmissions to them. It doesn't matter either one. It was both of them, actually, but you know how that goes. That shit's hooked up to them. I'm trying to run this stuff and, and get the stuff out of the car. I got to use a chain and a couple of two-by-fours and a piece of wire to get it up out of there because I can't even have the other. The money that I get paid to do it, well, I got to go buy a come-along to do it with and hook it up in a tree to begin with, and then when that falls apart and breaks because it's crap and the tree wasn't capable of handling the weight of fucking having that stuff pulled up out of there, you know, then you got to do it with your own body. So what does it matter? You know, my sister come on here screaming and yelling and, and talking crazy about it that I'm lying and I know your secrets and I know this and I know that. You don't know shit. Running around talking about you was abused. You weren't a, nothing but abused. I was tortured. I was punished for shit you did. You made me be punished for shit you did wrong. And now I got to suffer. I can't even get my own family to fucking stand up and say, yeah, we messed him up. We did something wrong. Let's fix him. You know, we all need to help with this shit. Y'all don't want to do nothing. And then and my mom comes up. <laughs> they can't come over here and pick me up and give me a ride to Walmart so I get groceries and stuff. I got to walk all over the place and call them, walk up to the store, hope I see them. And then they might give me a ride. They might not give me a ride. If I borrow their car and I'm not even late, they're calling the police on me and shit. But they can run around picking up pedophiles and taking them places. My father can go to basketball games and football games and, and stand around in there looking in the gym at all them boys playing and stuff. All he's doing is getting a peep show, a free fucking uh, uh, sex crap thing, just like they're telling me you can't fucking pay for, but he can sure do it. Everybody can do whatever they want. I got to suffer. This is America. This is your way. Look, it says stars and stripes over there. And then they want to talk about aspartame. Oh, you're drinking that aspartame. You're doing this. You're doing that. This motherfucker fucking rolls up on me, rolls over my house, does whatever he wants. These other dudes roll up on my house, motherfucking trying to cut the trees down, acting like they're helping, but they're really just robbing me so they can make money. And then if I need help with weed, they're robbing me so that they can get high, do whatever they want. And if I need help over here, they're supposed to be sending them over here from skill. Or four county mental health sending them over here to, to hire people because I ain't got the money to run around looking for people to fucking work. They want to send drug addicts over here so they steal my shit and get me all fucked up. And sit there and lie. They can breach confidentiality. Even the hospital in Coffeville can uh, run around telling the freaking police, well, he got THC in his urine, so uh, 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 why don't you arrest him or something? You know, four county mental health can, and these other guys can run around telling everybody all your shit. And that's okay. The, the skilled employees can run around telling people, oh, he's he's making a bomb. He's got it in his heater. Uh, uh, uh. And then they come over here and motherfucker want to put me in jail. Or you can be sitting there telling them and they leave this out. 
Why well, should kill myself if y'all ain't gonna do your job and you're just gonna fuck up all my shit? And end up making me lose it all. Can't even get a ride to go up and get your groceries. You gotta trust people that can fraud you out because you gotta fucking give them all the fucking control, of all your shit. You know? That's all you do. That's the American way. That's how it works. Uh, fuck you. Fuck Christians that on Easter Sunday, you can't even get into church. You got to sit outside under the porch. I like that. So that people that act like these Christians on Easter or Christmas or something, you know, are Christians, but the rest of the time they're thieves. Yeah. Go to church. Bye.